Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Former senior superintendent of police Renato Adams has been admitted to the Spanish Town Hospital after experiencing a concussion from a fall he had at his home. Adams, who is said to be in high spirits, has since tested positive for COVID-19. Opposition Senator Lambert Brown has been warned to retract his endorsement of vigilante justice or be deemed unfit to serve as a lawmaker. The call by a civil society pressure group comes in the wake of a series of scandals in the parliament and advocacy from the Speaker of the House for a public cleansing of the halls of political power. Dozens of Jamaicans recruited to work as cooks, servers and housekeepers at a Montana ski resort for the ultra-rich have reached a U.S. $1 million settlement over allegations they were discriminated against and paid less than other employees to do the same work. About 90 Jamaican workers will receive checks ranging from less than US$1,000 to more than $14,000. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has eased its guidelines on the wearing of masks outdoors, saying fully vaccinated Americans do not need to cover their faces anymore unless they are in a big crowd of strangers. Those who are unvaccinated can go outside without masks in some cases too. In sports, President Garth Gale says that the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association will not be rushed into a final decision regarding the nation's junior athletes' participation in the regional and international competitions this year. In your currency trading today, it was costing $154.82 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $215.77, and the Canadian dollar for $125.70. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be partly cloudy across northeastern parishes and otherwise mainly sunny. In the afternoon, there will be isolated showers across sections of southern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaning Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.